You are tuned in to another Friday freebie with the guys from the Showbank Show. Yeah. This is a, yeah. 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 Hey, this is a Rated R Studios production. How we doing? Good. Good. You good, good? Very Blessed. Good. Fuck it. I'm going to get into it. All right. Has anybody here tried to steal a woman from another dude? Mm. Is Randy in asking, what has niggas dirty mac In what way? In a sense. I'm really asking like if you... That's dirty mac Yeah. That's yeah. the dirty mac bro. Yeah. I'm asking. In what, yes! In what way? Uh, yeah. have, <laughs> Eric is a frequent dirty mac Before he tied the knot, he was... Low key, bro, he was up there. How many MVPs to dirty mac you got, bro? Two? Three, maybe? I know you was top five. <laughs> hey, I know you was top five in voting every year. Don't worry. Hey, about he the goat. <laughs> goat. He said, "How? How so?" <laughs> no, bro. He did this with the R. Kelly. Uh, how? How? Like, what is a teenager? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> okay. How EDJ, you know have you tried to steal a girl from another dude? You knew she was in a relationship, and you was just like, "You knew." Nah, it. I need that. I gotta have it. No. But. <laughs> but. I don't. I don't know if it's a bad thing though, because it's more of trying to show them that he was fucking terrible. Still dirty Mac. Yeah. It don't matter. I Fair mean, enough. Fair. Her boyfriend could be an absolute piece of shit. The second you let that <laughs> sentence fly from your mouth to her, dirty man. He can't treat you like I will. Bro. Hey, hey. <laughs> I don't know if it went that far, but we're talking maybe four shit, times. Shit, you still with him? Damn. Oh, man. Yeah. You a dom plus 99, and it's a shame. You don't even know what you were. Oh, boy. That was my go-to, nigga. <laughs> Uh-oh. Levi. Damn, Papa Shrove, what? DMK. Dirty Matt King. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. He was a league leader at one point in time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was. <laughs> I'm sorry. I would. I wouldn't say all uh, that, but I, I've been there. Hey, that happens. I'll say it, it. Like, what was the allure of trying to steal somebody's girl from him though? <laughs> This is incriminating and entrapment yes. for Levi and I. So, oh, ass. <laughs> ass. How? I'm, I'm answering your question. Ass. Oh, okay. well, Levi's going to answer the question. Boom. I'm going to. I'm going to have my lawyer present. <laughs> uh, boy, she got you strung up like that, cuz you can't talk about. You, this is old, bro. It's not this is old. Like, yeah, bro. Uh, I what, mean, what, I feel you. What's the name of that shit? This kid's listening to. I'm in trouble, but hey, bro, I take it. What's the name of that shit? Uh, don't don't look law, at me dirty like, like law that. statutes and shit. Yeah, statute of limitations. Yeah, there we go. That don't work with women. Old right. shit. Old no, shit. Yeah, he's right. Damn man. So now the two men we've got to carry. It. My back is hurting, guys. Uh, Did I not just say ass? <laughs> 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 I had to pull it down. <laughs> Salute. Yeah, but yes, ass. That that is Booty. that was the alert. Booty. What about for you? <sighs> a couple things, bro. If I'm getting oh. honest, <laughs> obviously ass played a major part. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, but it's also, I guess, insecurities within yourself. Mm. Mm. That's fair. And then I don't know. I guess greed. Because why do you need that if it's not yours? Not to say that women are objects and possessions, yeah. But why do you need that if it's she's, I'm she's in a relationship. You know she's in a relationship. Why do I need that then? Why do I feel like I have the right to that? So about that's your feelings a, towards her. Yeah, that's a good question. How how old? I guess this is more of like it was a, young. It was young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was that, young shit. That's kind of what I'm assuming. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, nah, because I just I was just noticing how I managed to skate by most of this conversation. I just been pointing fingers at everybody. Mm-hmm. And shit, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, no, nah, we, but yeah, you said you was uh, you was a dirty. You Mac- was young. And, what uh, was you dirty, Mac? Ray. 
his whole damn life. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nah, bro, that was that was high school shit though. Absolutely, that was, that was, that was hella high school. If shit. ever mm-hmm. there was a time the dirty Mac, it's in high school. I was like sixteen. <laughs> yeah, I like I dirty Mac from like sixteen to like mm, eighteen. I ain't gonna hold Fair it. enough. I'm probably like 18, 19. Word. Yeah, because yeah, like at that point, you realize how fucking lame Dirty Mackin' is. Whack. Like, the lamest of lames. Like, the fact that niggas still Dirty Mac to this day. Just trying to steal somebody's significant other, bro. It's, it's lame. It's lame. Yeah. At, at our big age. That's a young nigga sport. Bro. That's a young nigga sport. That's a fact. Either that or like, that's like, that's like, that's a young slash rich nigga sport. I'm going to steal your bitch. Yeah. Like, all right, cool. Because there's no point. Bro. You obviously like dealing with her headaches. I don't. I know I don't. Thanks. I just want be what's between the legs. I don't want the whole headache, and that's what's going to come with me stealing your girl. No. It's Mr. Steal Your Girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Mm-hmm. No, nah, and, like, I, it's funny because, like, that shit low-key got, like, romanticized from, like, when we were in high school. Y'all remember Boyfriend Number 2? Mmm. Side nigga. Shawty by uh, Plies. Yep. Like, that is a Dirty Mac anthem. Because, like, if you pay attention to the lyrics, like, nigga, T-Pain is literally just shit no cuz that she bro. did. But, like, they like they fuck around on the side. Since we was kids, bro. Because it was like... Uh, DMX, how it's going down. How it's going down. This She obviously had a man with, a, like, a baby daddy that she was still with. What was that one song? If I... If I told you... What if I told your girl I was... Oh, you know what I'm talking about, uh, bro? If your girl only knew. Yeah. By uh, Aaliyah. If your girl only knew. The worst part song is- called Can You Get Away. Oh, that boy. <laughs> like, it's just been. It's literally a con- phone conversation between him and the girl on it. Dirt. Matter of fact, what's the name of that song about T.I., bro? Uh, Why You Wanna. Why You Wanna. <laughs> that was the coolest Dirty Mac hey, song of all was, time, bro. though. This, this nigga, the worst part is, because, like, that's why I said it's a rich nigga sport. He flew that's her true. out to an island where he knew her man couldn't get to. Loki a cool nigga. Like, the way he pulled that off. Oh, yeah. be... oh no, I'm saying, like, not, like, I ain't gonna. Not every you. rich nigga a cool nigga, though. That's also true. But you know who else, though? Dirty Mac a lot? Women. Women are guilty oh, of dirty macking a lot. Oh, this facts. is not a one sided gender sport. Nah. Women are cold at this shit. One of my favorite cases of dirty macking on women, Alicia Keys. Alicia Keys dirty macked her way into a successful marriage. Talk about it. Bro. All right, so this man, Swiss Beats, was married, happily, like supposedly happy, happily married. Wasn't happy enough. <laughs> and uh, what is that song? Uh, She had with Drake. I want Unfor- Unforgettable. Uh-huh. Supposedly that song was to him. Oh. Yes. Yes. How, as a woman, like, how do you deal with a Dirty Mac like that? You can't. You Exactly. Because it's unfair. She can sing you <laughs> out of your relationship. <laughs> like, the same effect of playing a flute for the snake to come out exactly. the back. Exactly. <laughs> same that nigga out his bra, bro. That nigga said, oh, shit. Shit, I, baby, I gotta go. You Showtime. <laughs> motherfucker here. Zone. Zone, 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 zone. Bro, that's what I'm saying. Like, what do you do at that point? Bro, you, the crazy thing about women with Dirty Mackin is they make it so easy. Oh, and they, like, I'm not even going to lie. They make it so sensual and appealing. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of women mm-hmm. get men that their girls like. They get the type of guy that their girls want to see them with and their girls like. Mm. So it's like, ah, if you just getting the nigga that your girls like, they going to pounce on them. That's also true. A lot of times, women don't even be happy with the dude they with. They just want to get him, get get him to show their girlfriends. That's also true. That's also true. So you just putting them up, you propping them up on the tee, and they Tiger Woods in that motherfucker. <laughs> Thanks, girl. Thanks, sis. Oh my God, bro. You know what's something though? That's uh, I think about. Uh, somebody was talking about. Like, they didn't want to, like, let go of one of their exes because they didn't just want to have, like, built up this person so that way the next person basically hit the jackpot mm. on who that person is going I to I hate become. that shit. Damn. Even what, though, do you, hold on, hold on. what do you hate, EDJ? The idea that someone built a person up. Mm. That's stupid. Ooh. Mm. Let's That's go. stupid. 
It, a little spicy. Mm-hmm. And sprinkle it. Eventually, you mature, right? Yeah. I mean, what it, the new science came out, frontal lobe doesn't fully develop to what, 26, 25, 26, something like that? Around that age, yeah. Mm-hmm. So at some point, you're going to mature. Yep. So the idea that you, oh, I built this person from nothing, blah, 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 But what blah. if she was pushing you in that direction, or he or she was pushing you in that the direction? The only way I can see that working is if the person did absolutely nothing, and that person pushed you to do everything. That's the only way I can see it. That's not how it always works, it works though. though. What? That's not how it always works. I know, that's what I'm saying. So, it, the idea that you built somebody that hasn't fully matured yet, which there are some people that do get built by their significant other, I'm not saying not, but the idea that that's just an easy go-to excuse no, for... No, I agree with you on Exactly. That. It's yeah. not easy. You can't no. just off the bat say, I built him up, or right. I built her up. Right. It you, take, you have to actually spend time in the lab. Mm-hmm. Was you shooting with them in the gym? Hey. And you know what's funny? They love saying they built somebody up, but they never talk about how they ruined a lot of motherfuckers. And that too. You know what I'm saying? Because how many niggas out here still... They became misogynists after, like, one bad relationship, basically. These are facts. These are facts. You know what I'm saying? So, like, the same thing that you tried to, like, build, you also broke. You know what I'm saying? So, mm, be careful with that. That whole ideology. Yeah, it's a balance to it, too, because you could be pushing somebody in the di- in that direction, but nothing's going to happen until it clicks for them. Exactly. Right. And they say, oh, shit, that's what they've been talking about. Yeah, okay, bet. Mm-hmm. And they start making it happen for themselves. Yep. So it's a, it's, a, it's a balance to it. For sure. And the other thing is, you know, what I think you were just kind of alluding to it a second ago, is sometimes that that fault that you had in the previous relationship wasn't, was brought out in you. I mean, let's be real here. It's not that you, it's your fault. It's just that person brought that out in you. So if a new person doesn't bring that out in you, that's not that person building you. That person just brought it out in you. Say it one more time. What are you, what are you trying to say? So if the person that you just broke up with claims they built you, but you had this big fault, right? Like, I don't, I don't know. Too lazy. We'll go with too Mm -hmm. lazy. And then they go on to date someone else, and they're not lazy at all. And they do this, and they do this on time. They do romantic stuff. You can't just claim that that was you for building them up to be that person. You probably just didn't bring it out in them. You're saying, like, new person shouldn't say, I built you up to be this, basically. Right. Yeah. Right. I kind of feel you, because I, I feel like... My thing... Oh, go whole, ahead, bro. I was just going to say, I just think that that whole kind of term is... Kind of silly, cause I, I egocentric, like, very yeah, egocentric. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Yes. Uh, because I don't necessarily think that anybody built me up necessarily, like especially from a significant other, compared right. to the same thing. I don't necessarily think I built anybody up. You uh, learned from just, it. you learned people. from it. What am I? Your life coach? Yeah, I'm, I'm built. I'm, I have. I built somebody. I built somebody <laughs> up. And guess what? Guess what? It's unfair. Mm-hmm. It's unfair because that should not be your responsibility. Nope. It's not. It's not your responsibility to build anybody up. Facts. You took a job that wasn't shouldn't have been on the table in the first place. Facts. So basically, me and Ray took a job we didn't really want. Not that we really we actually wanted it. It was unnecessary. We took a job that shouldn't have been on the table in the first place. Yeah. They started asking us, like you know, we signed up for one thing. Uh, uh, one specific job and then they just started adding on duties but they were like we'll make you salary yeah <laughs> oh well you're really good at this let's come on yeah no like you're you're a great asset to this team and before you know it bro you got all you just carrying all these responsibilities mm-hmm. and you fold under that shit and you turn in your resignation later you start cleaning out your desk and then they get at, and then you know they get a little angry and then you know any other uh, prospective jobs they start shitting on your name Mm. One and the same, bro. Man, that it, comparison is bars, nigga. Pretty on Big point, points. right there. And that's yeah, the bars. and that's the most annoying point part mm-hmm. is them talking about you afterwards. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't understand because I know they think that you're doing it too, but in reality, I don't care about you that much at that point. I really don't. I mean, I'll talk to you know my friends about you, but outside of that, I don't care. Damn, good for you. I I don't set records that well. I still care. I don't badmouth them to people. You know what I'm saying? Or like to prospective mates and whatnot. 
I like that part. Like I don't. That does not exist to me like anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like romantically, that person does not exist. But like personally, like that's a person, and I I cared about that right. person a lot at certain points. So it's hard for me to just flip the switch on that. That takes a lot of time. My thing is, how could you ever fix your lips to speak bad on my name when all I did was ever try to make you better and help you out? They don't view it that way. That's a fact. That's true. And then uh, you got to think about this. How often did they get caught in a time of, like, venting? You know what I'm saying? Like, how many times have you besmirched the person's name just in a time of venting that you didn't really mean? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I'm the type of person I police myself when I do that. Well, and I call myself, ready. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. No, that's a fact. Cause but you should want to police yourself and hold yourself. It's like you can be mad, bro, but you got to be mad within reason sometimes. Yeah. Really, a lot of the time. You just got to. It's okay to be mad, but I guess recognize that you're not mad with logic right now. It's like kind of unreasonable. Mm-hmm. Irrational. Irrational, yeah. yeah. Oh, yes, bro. 16. Good talk, guys. Yeah. Sweet 16. <laughs> Sweet 16. Sweet 16. <laughs> so, uh, uh, we out, bro. Rapskis for the <laughs> short. <laughs> we shorten the short. <laughs> we shorten the short. Man, this has been a uh, Radar Studios production from the guys that brought you the Showbank show. We are out Tuesdays at 11 a.m. <laughs> Good play.